Hey everyone, it's Uncle George, and welcome back to Let's Play v v v v v v v v v Vroom. I don't know what to call it, I've run out of names right now. So, uh, last time we ended up in the Grey Dimension here, and uh, we found this terminal. Let's hit the terminal. Dimensional Spinity Generator. Currently generating maximum Spinity. Let's test online. Ready. Aha! This was what's causing the interference. I wonder if I can turn it off. Warning. Disabling the Dimensional Spinity Generator may lead to instability. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah. Disabling the stability generator may lead to instability. Uh, well done. Yes. Seriously, the whole dimension could just, could collapse. Just think about this for a minute. Are you really sure you want to do this? Well, it's it's uh, hit the button or we're stuck in this one screen, so yes! Warning. Dimensional stabilizer offline. Uh-oh. And uh, now we're no longer in the grey dimension. We're in, uh, I don't know, the, the flashing disco dimension. That's what I'm going to call it. Uh, no, I can't wait there is the answer to my question. Maybe I have to do it... Uh, not then! <laughs> now instead. Oops! It's definitely when that one's going away. I caught the edge of something there. I think that's what slowed me out just after getting caught, so... I'll try again. There we go. Oh great, more enemies that I have to get through on a conveyor belt going backwards. Of course, why not? Yes, got through, good. Uh, and a lot of these screens are obviously variations on the screens that we've seen before, so the first one after coming out of the... Uh, you know, that, that room with the dimensional stabiliser was uh, basically the second screen of the game, actually, but uh, this one, I'm pretty sure we've also seen something like this, so, oh, come on. And obviously those those uh, guys that we had to go through on the backwards conveyor belt would sit. Being extra careful here. And this one, yeah. This one's a real pain because of the slipperiness. Yes, got it, okay. Unfortunately, we can't escape this anymore, so we have to go through the middle of it. Oh. I don't like these guys one bit. I didn't like it when there were three of them, let alone when there were five of them. I just have to uh, power through the first little bit and then... Uh, <laughs> they're a little bit too tightly packed together for uh, for my taste, I think. Uh, makes it a bit... maybe a little too challenging? I don't know, again, this is the end of the game, so... Oh, come on! Every time! Every time! <laughs> okay, I've got to actually stop doing that. There we go. And then I hit it on the way back, of course. This is probably my most hated screen in the game, next to the Gravitron. The Gravitron, at least you make progress. <laughs> <laughs> I will get this. I will get this. The difference between this and the Pac Man screen is that the Pac Man screen, at least the trinket, was optional. This thing, I have to weave through five Olympic rings here, and I've got no choice about it. Yes, I got through! Brilliant! Okay, I will take it. Ran off the edge of it, okay.
You know what? I don't mind. I don't mind dying on spikes because I'm not dying on weird, creepy rings. There we go. Oh. Oh, nearly. This isn't nearly as bad because it's not moving. <laughs> Do this. It's actually quite hard stopping in the spaces that. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh no no no! Oh, uh, I panicked. <laughs> I didn't even notice this room was called Panic Room until I said that. This is basically, yeah, a lot like the tower. Oh, no. That's that's death. Except it's a very short version of the tower, I suppose. <laughs> uh, do I just... No. I think I'm missing something here at the bottom of this... Uh, room. Do I do that? Yes, I must have to do that. There we go. Okay. And yep, it doesn't it, this room doesn't loop anymore, so yeah, we just uh, sort of go around the uh, edge there of it instead. Do this. There we go. Oh, yeah. oh, this is the final challenge, apparently. Nope, I haven't got time to do that, okay. How do I get around there? I guess. Not like that. Like that, but don't slide off. Okay. Oh no! Oh, I'm a fool! Okay, good. Around the edge of this. And... Oops. Oh come on! <laughs> this this shouldn't be giving me this much trouble. There we go. Uh oh, I was gonna say I don't know what happens if you fall into the gaps. The answer is spikes. That's what happens. Okay, here we go. I'm actually quite good at this bit, uh, except for there apparently. And you may have seen that's the last trinket there, so that's why it wasn't showing up on the map because it's in the uh, disco dimension or the uh, grey dimension. Twenty out of twenty. And I guess the last thing we have to do here then is uh, flip V V V V V V V V V V five and six Vs and then outer space. Game complete. All crew members rescued. Yep, that's the end of the game. You are floating through space. And it took me an hour and a half to complete this game, which is why it's only uh, six parts rather than seven. <laughs> Hardest room, Darlin' for murder. Harder than the Gravitron right there. Yeah. Uh, pressing the button to continue? I think I will do that. Any moment now. Hello, Captain! Oh, I suppose that was c c c c c Captain. <laughs> You're all right. I knew you'd be okay. We were very worried when you didn't come back. When you turned off the source of the interference, we were able to find you with the ship scanners and to put you back on board. That was lucky. You could have teleported me a little bit earlier, though, so I didn't have to go through all those challenges. Thanks, guys. Although I suppose I wouldn't have been able to get to the uh, trinket if, uh, if they didn't. It looks like this dimension is starting to destabilize, just like our own. We can stay and explore for a little longer, but eventually it'll collapse completely. 
imagining exactly how long we have here, so the ship, but the ship's fixed, so as soon as we're ready, we can go home. What now, Captain? Let's find a way to save this dimension. And a way to save our home dimension, too. The answer is out there somewhere. Let's go. And so it's on to the credits. Uh, there we go, here's our six uh, characters. Captain Viridian, Dr. Violet, Professor Vitellary, Officer Vermilion, Chief Verdigree, and Dr. Victoria. So, uh, I'll leave you with the credits, but we will be back after the credits for one last little bonus. So, thanks for watching everyone, and bye-bye.